Hey guys, quick back, Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about how to avoid confusion between nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, and mismatch repair. When you read all type of DNA repair mechanism, it's possible that you might get confused, especially during your exams. So here's a tip to avoid confusion between nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, and mismatch repair. Let's start with nucleotide excision repair. Now pay attention to the word nucleotide excision repair and ask a question what type of nucleotides are repaired in this mechanism? The answer to this question is that nucleotides that are in form of dimer, that is pyrimidine dimers or TT dimer. Let's see base excision repair and ask a question, what type of base is it going to repair? The answer to this question is it's going to repair the chemically modified bases such as oxidized base, deep urinated base or the presence of unusual base such as uracil in the DNA. And finally, let's see mismatch repair and ask what type of base is it going to repair? The answer is going to be the repair of mismatches present in the DNA. Now let's jump back to nucleotide excision repair and ask how pyrimidine dimers are formed in the DNA. The answer is that they are formed by UV radiation. So the proteins involved in nucleotide excision repair are UVRA, UVRB, and UVRC. In case of base excision repair, it's going to remove the base. And so the removal of base is done by the breakage of glycosidic bond. So the enzyme involved in this repair mechanism is DNA glycosylase. And finally, in mismatch repair, the proteins involved starts with the initiative of M. These are mute S, mute L, and mute H. So this is all you need to remember to avoid any type of confusion between nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, and mismatch repair.